Right, we'll start again. Good afternoon everybody. We are Ross on Y and District Dog Training Club and we are here today to show you some of the sports that we do with our club and our dogs. So firstly we have Martine with Nikki, Polly, who's three. We have Helen with Ellie, who is a fox coloured Labrador. And Ellie is three years old. We have Anna. Anna, what dog do you have Anna? There she is with um, Lady the Rockweiler. We also have Becky. Where are you, Beck? With Zelda, our youngest dog, who's seven months old. We have Kathy with two year old Beaucheron Dida. Where, there she is, I saw her go in. Who have I missed? And we have another Becky with Merlin, the Black Lab. And we have Liz with four year old Scrum and Tess and Caroline with our little crazy Polly. Well, there's me. I have a dog. I brought Collie over there, and we'll be coming out later. So this exercise that the girls are demonstrating is stays. So can your will your dog stay where you ask him to? Hopefully these will. So these dogs are all at different stages with going to stay. So we have Becky with Zelda, who doesn't go very far, and is currently going to go back and keep the treat, keep the treat of her staying. Then we have some dogs such as Nikki and Dido who are trained to do a 10 minute out of sight stay. So the handler is completely out of sight for 10 minutes. Well done. Can we have a round of applause for that? Well done. That don't always happen. So our next exercise will be the recall. We're going to show off a little bit and see if we can keep ring and end up back with the same dog that we started with. So the reason is that we get lots of people coming to the park. We need to do the dog So I think So we have Martine again with Vicky, Kathy with Dido. Helen has still got Helen has still got Ellie and Helen has still got um, lady, you will see Hannah with a, a chocolate lab lady called Willow. Yeah. Something else we teach them um, is quirky trials. So part of quirky trials exercise is to teach a dog to speak. So Martine is going to ask her Nikki. So Martine is going to ask Nikki to speak. And she's going to command her to stop when she wishes her to.
All right. Thank you. Let's 
before I'm due to go on if he's still laying there now, so I might do it. Well, if necessary, take the jumps out, if that helps. Yeah. Have a chat with Martin. And yeah.
Caroline's able to redirect Holly from into different directions where the game may have landed. So sometimes Holly doesn't get to see the, uh, the game going down. And also, it's not quite as easy as a nice flat field. So this time, I'll shoot back, back. There we go. So Holly didn't see where it lands. She's also got a nice hitch to jump over. So will she get it this time? No problem. In the push. Yay! Oh, go round, Holly. That's right. Hide it under that one. I'll get it later. You might get a lap of honour from uh, Holly in a minute. Oh, and the other one. Yay, well done. Good girl. Thank you, girls. Just get these pushes moved. We need them on wheels, really. Oh, there you go. Big man to help us. So our next demonstration is going to be something that another thing that we do at club. We, we, I don't know if I'm having a happy push. We do good citizenship. So we do bronze, silver and gold. So the dogs that are coming in now are at different levels. And we've got different exercises going on. So we have Becky with Zelda. So Zelda's only seven months old. She's recently joined us and she's working towards a bronze. And we have Hannah this time with a different dog, I told you. She had a chocolate lab. Who is also working towards a bronze. And we have Liz with Tess, who's back, who has achieved the gold award, so is more experienced. So a couple of weeks after, we So Becky is going to demonstrate the current gate. So the object of this exercise is to look like do. I want to run and do a baby gate. Well done, Becky. <laughs> if it had been me, I wouldn't have done it. So to walk through the gate in a controlled manner. So the dog should pull or be pulled through the gate. So Becky will allow Selva to wait while she opens the gate. And she will re-pull Becky and re to Becky Selva through the gate. And keep on a controlled manner while she starts it. Well done, Becky. Water, the other two water. are demonstrating Not controlled greeting. So this there exercise is so that the dog doesn't jump up. So either when you're um, out on a walk and you meet another dog, or the visitors coming to the house. So they will wait calmly while we have a chat. So well done, that was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Uh, some of the ex other exercises we do, we do grooming and health checks. So the girls on the outside are doing um, health checks, so where they can look at the dog's teeth. Right. Okay, Willie's got lovely teeth. <laughs> and ears um, and feet and stomach and tail. So basically the thing that they would do when you go to the vet to have a health check. And also Becky is doing six stands and downs. So Becky is doing six stands and downs with Zelda. Uh, Liz is doing grooming, so she should be able to groom the dog without the dog struggling. <laughs> well done, Tess. And Hannah is doing my favourite exercise, which is playing with your dog, which is a really important exercise, especially when you're training. So when it builds a good relationship with you, between you and your dog, and also is fab fun and exercise. Thank you, guys. Stay down. The Stay down. So our next is our agility. We're running around, so we'll just give a couple of seconds to Fulfills the dog's natural instincts to run, jump, 
navigate their way through different obstacles. You might have seen your dog doing it when he's chasing a squirrel. It's good mental and physical exercise for the dogs, as it challenges their minds and bodies, and it helps combat boredom, strengthens their muscles, improves their coordination, keeps them fit, and increases their endurance. It helps us get in shape too, because we have to run alongside the dogs Mm. to help them negotiate the jumps and the obstacles. And actually lumping the equipment about gets you quite fit. The most important reason for doing agility is it's fun, both for us and the dogs. Now, Lady, the Rottweiler, with Hannah, is a girl dog. So, wave Hannah. So I think all the girls should cheer for Lady. And Ozzy with Kath in the red top is a boy dog, so I think all boys should cheer for Ozzy. So let's get the race going. And don't forget to shout for your dog. Are you ready? Oh, false start from Ozzy. Are you ready? Another full start for Mozzie. Ready, steady, go! Oh, no, I can't hear anybody shouting for Lady. Oh, well, Ozzy won that one, but I couldn't hear anyone shouting for Lady. So I think we should have best of three. Peter, sit. Right, so round two, and I want to hear more shouting. Ready, steady, go! Come on, shout for Lady! Oh! Come on, Lady! One last one so that Lady can actually show what she can do this time if she's cheered on. Are you ready, Handlers? Ready, steady, go! I'm not dying, honestly, if you hear me heavy breathing. There's just quite a lot of running around.
to our next exercise is a different sort of agility. So this is the agility that we do within working trials. So as you can see, there's only three jumps, so far less jumps, and far, far less running around, which is why I do working trials and not agility. So this is to test the dog's agility. So it's the three, the three jumps are the clear, which is Helen got there. Yay! The long jump, which is a long white one in the middle, and that big wooden thing that the guys are lugging around is the scale. Which will make them really fit, lugging that around. So we're going to start off with the lowest point when we start to train the dogs to do these jumps. So we have Kathy Dido, who is our biggest dog in our group. And we have Martin and Nikki coming back in, and Nikki is one of the smallest, so quite a difference in height of dogs with the jumps. So this clear is currently on two feet, so I've been told. So Dido will jump over. Will you jump over? Yay, well done. Nikki's turn. Well done, Nikki. Good girl. Right, the next is the long jump, and the long jump is currently on five foot, so just a little tiny bit shorter than me. So do the first. Yay, good boy. And little Nikki next. No problem. Well done. Now the scale, which is currently at four foot. I'm pretty sure these jumps might grow in a minute. Yay, no problem. Good boy. I may have got that wrong. It may be three of them. Who knows? Well, no. Oh, there we go. I knew they'd grow. We'll go around again. They might need a bit of cheering this time, so it's getting a bit higher. So we've got the clear, which is on two foot six. The long jump is going to be seven foot, so way taller than what I am. And the scale is growing. Quite difficult to get up and down. There we go. So the scale will be made up to five footage. So we're going to cheer Dido to see if he can do this one. It's a little bit longer. Yay, good boy. And what about little Mickey? Because she's only tiny. She might need lots of cheering. There we go, that worked, good girl. This time, Liv? Gonna cheer again? Yay, well done. So our scale is currently now five foot. So, they might need some shouting for this one too. Chuck him over, Cal. Oh, no, we need another board. Better? That'll do. I'm rubbish at measurements. It's taller than the dog. Come on then, over we go. Come on, Dido. Yay, good boy, no problem. And little Nicky's going to need a massive cheer. Yay, well done. Okay, so now the jumps are growing again. So they currently will be set at the heights that are in competitions. So the clear will be at three footage. The long will now become nine foot. 
and the scale will be six foot. Well done, Dida. So little Nicky can do this one. Did you measure it, Becky? Yeah, I did. Okay. The scale's at five foot six, apparently. Okay, so Kathy's now doing the long one. Dido's doing the long jump. Which is it? Is it nine foot? Are you happy? So is it nine foot? It's definitely taller than me if I let down, which I'm not going to do. Way, no problem. And now we've got little Nikki. So Nikki's going to need a massive cheer. It's a long, long way for a little dog. A long way for a big dog. Yay! Well done. So now I don't think I can see Kathy over the top of that. No. Nope. So this time over the scale, the handler will send the dog and recall them like they do in competition. So you get over, and Kathy will recall him to go back over. Although he might take the easy option. Oh, change of plan. Oh, here we are. Nice treat. Get him in the right position. Yay, good boy. Well done. Brilliant. Now you really, really need to cheer for Nikki because it's a long, long way up for her. Come on, Nikki. Done, guys. Brilliant. Right, so we're getting them running in and out again. Are we going up again? Oh, we're going up one more. So this is now at six foot. Over, over, over. Good man. Well done. Will you go back? Nikki's turn. Are you cheering for Nikki? Can't hear ya. That's better. Will she go back? Yay! No problem at all. Well done. Thank you, guys. I know that's heavy. In the ring, I think we might have worn anybody out now. Have you all run round enough? Hello? Handlers, have you run round enough? Are you worn out? Okay, right, should we get them to come back in one last time? Come on, Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Martine Taylor is our trainer, so she, it's all her fault. Very patient. So we'll have a round of applause for Martin and Nikki, Helen and Ellie, Kath and Dida, Becky and Zelda, Hannah with both Willow and Lady, Caroline with Wally and Liz with Tess. They've done really well, it's quite hot out here as well for them as well, so well done. Shall we see if they can take a bow? Take a bow. Yay, well done. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, or you would like to come and say hello to the dogs, please feel free to come and see us, we're over there. With lots of dog treats for sale. And also, we have a dog show starting at half past two, so if you haven't entered, please come over and enter. If you've got a dog, if you haven't got your dog and you have one at home, pop home and get it quickly. And we'll see you later on. Thank you.